Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Batman the Brave and the Bold, where when we last uh, left off, Batman and his uh, former idol turned partner, Hawkman, were making their way deep into on the underground of old London in chase or being also being chased by the gentleman ghost fighting skeletons let's show these punks how it's done old timey bombs and the various uh who was i using last i don't know let's go back to aquaman then I was thinking about the idea of um, playing a game based on a property that you don't recognize. Or should I say, or not that familiar with. Because, like, I'm familiar with Batman, but I haven't watched any of Batman the Brave and the Bold, so I'm not necessarily familiar with its uh, extension of characters. So, like, Hawkman is uh, unfamiliar to me. The Gentleman Ghost is unfamiliar to me. So, like, while I probably could have learned about these characters elsewhere in the Batman mythos, I have not. That was a cheap shot. So, like, I was thinking about what games that I've played that... that I did not actually know the source material up. Because, like, I had mentioned earlier... that I had played through um, Adventure Time, um, Hey, Ice King, what did you do with all the garbage uh, on the DS uh, from Way Forward? Um, but I have not actually... Fighting is all they know. Without that, they might as well just sink back into the ground. I know the feeling. Don't take it personally. Like, I have not actually seen an episode of Adventure Time, but I played the game because I like the company that makes the game. Um, I've played uh, Legend of Korra, the uh, Platinum Games uh, release, but I have not seen an episode of Legend of Korra, let alone an episode of uh, The Last Airbender. Though, I, I do realize I probably should be watching all of these shows that I have mentioned, but I am lazy. Also, I'm playing video games all the time. The gate isn't down. Maybe I can fly up and I should be able to knock it free with one of my batarangs. One second. Thanks. Are you gonna do it though? No, you're not. You're not gonna do it. This is a cool background, actually. It's it's very minimalistic. But it really does get the job done. It really sets the mood. And I still had a good time with Adventure Time. The I, the sticking points wasn't who these characters are. Uh, the sticking points for that game was there was just a lot of backtracking. Like, it was a four-hour game that went on for, uh... For... Sorry, it was a four-hour game that should have been two. Well, to be fair, well, some of these skeletons are already dead. They don't have, like, bodies of flesh to encompass their skeleton. Also, I find it interesting that even though there are bad guys nearby, uh, the game is like, oh, you're pl you're really planning to grab Batman, weren't you? With Legend of Korra, like, uh, there didn't really feel like there was any sticking points in regards to the plot. Like, there were, pro there were a whole bunch of problems in that game in regards to pacing and ability usage and mission structure. But as for like who these people were, why they were fighting, the story worked well enough for what it was. 
And then I was also thinking about the fact that pretty much every Marvel movie exists on the idea that you don't necessarily have had to read the comics. You don't have to read the Batman comics to enjoy the Batman, perhaps. And actually, you might like it more, because then you won't have anything to compare it to. My life, I tell ya. That's great to hear. I hope I'm half the hero you are when I'm your age. Yeah. Running away from explosives, just like I am. Like, our games. Like, like this, exactly more like extensions of their original media, or are there their own unique things? Like, you can look at certain movies that uh, you know are more extensions of their media, in that they really focus less on telling a new story, and more about referencing those cool shots you liked. Like, I would probably say that is an issue with the There's new Uncharted movie. Now is that it's just trying to mimic the success of the games as opposed to doing its own thing. Like, we've already seen these great shots and these great moments in cinematics within the game, and then even got to play a little bit of those cinematics. Uh, whereas, like, the movie is just kind of referencing those camera angles. Uh, Resident Evil... The, there was a new Resident Evil movie, which I hear is uh, a terrible movie, unless you're a fan. If you're a fan of the series, if you're a fan of the franchise, then you'll be like, you'll be able to recognize all of those specific fan servicey moments, which allows the movie to really stand out for you. Whereas, like, for me, while this probably has the entire original cast of, Bra of uh, The Brave and the Bold, like, I'm not necessarily going to recognize it. I do recognize uh, the voice of Batman. I don't know his name, but he also does the voice of Batman in the new Harley Quinn series. And he's, he's pretty good. He's no Kevin Conroy, but he's solid. He does good work. Like, he he's uh, not the first person I would have thought of in regards to doing, like, a Batman voice, but he really... It has been enjoyable, gentlemen. Does a great well, job with the role. Is nearly at its end. Oh, how I will treasure our adventure together when you're both long dead. Some much sooner than others, of course. I can hold my own, punk. Don't worry about me. Tut tut, Batman. Forcing old heroes through new gauntlets. That's not very heroic, is it? I'm fine, really. Now let's get down there and finish this. The ground is solid, but I may be able to blast through it with my explosives. Use him. We can't let a madman like him get away. He's a ghost. What do you care? We did it, kid. Oh, good job on that max combo, Batman AI. Let's show these punks how it's done. But at the same time, knowing the references, even if, like, things are being changed, at the very least, um... Outrageous. ...does provide a person more perspective in regards to how things are changed and why. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. Like, I ha walked into uh, Guardians of the Galaxy with no knowledge about the actual Guardians characters. Like, I had no knowledge that Drax, for instance, was originally human in the comics. And he was changed to an alien to better line, fit Craddock. James I Gunn's vision of the uh, storyline. Like, knowing... Oh, zombies now. Knowing about, like, the Riddler's origin in the comic books, his depiction in the animated series, his depiction in Batman Forever, um, like, it provides a lot more perspective, should I say, on... 
on the uh, depiction of the Riddler in, let's say, the new Batman movie. But at the same time, like, that alone should not necessarily be um, the requirement for viewing and enjoying said project. Like, if you only enjoyed that character because you knew the backstory of that character as presented, then I would say that would be an issue with the, uh, the writing team. And also... Ah, okay. This Skull Museum has some secrets. Whatever happened to respecting your elders? Um, your elders keep forgetting that the bomb splits up into other bombs. That's that's what's happening. Ah. Zombies! Alright, Aquaman. Oh! How is the ocean even getting here? Once again, evil is washed away. Like, this game is still unenjoyable, even if I have no idea who the Blue Beetle is, or who the Gentleman Ghost is, because of the mechanics of the game, because of the presentation, uh, because of the style. And the story is tell told well enough that it fits the uh, form of the storyline. That, that speed you're sentence for? technically hey, might have I'm made just sense. Watching the rear, Batman. You never know where that top hat wearing ghoul will show up next. The Good story call. is made well enough to fit the intent uh, of the design. Uh, from what I read about the design of the game is that their goal was to... Um... Ow. Was to um, essentially tell an entire episode without cutscenes. Like, have the entire episode's worth of quips and dialogue presented to you as the story progresses. Or should I say, as the... in gameplay, as opposed to, uh... in cutscene. And I would s Why are you... And for that, Stand they are back. definitely relatively successful. Relatively. They're very successful. There's been only maybe a few minutes of cutscenes. Cumulative. There's just been a lot of beaten up bad guys, which is what I signed up for. Um, I looked up some uh, critic reviews of this game at the time, and it looks like this game got largely 7 out of 10s. Which, I suppose is fair. Um, but one of the things uh, that it was I found interesting about this is that this game released, or at the very least was mar remarked upon bodies. as being released for uh, $40. But himself. He'd tear the world apart if it gained him anything. I can see that. Which, I've got to say, for $40... Like, I paid $60 for worse. And for less. If you've played the video game Time Shift, uh, then you know what I'm talking about. Huh. I'm not entirely sure what that did. That looks perfectly safe. Looks like we're heading down again. This would be a real pain without your cape and my wings. It's still a pain. Ah, oh, come on, kid. Where's your sense of adventure? Last one down's a rotten hawk egg. Yeah, you, you, you get a lot of space. I'm not necessarily that worried. Ugh. 
It's not like uh, the NES version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles where you had to swim through a electrified uh, reef. Got anything in that belt of yours to shut him up? Oh dear, it's getting a bit crass down here. I know when I'm not wanted. Hmm. Takes multiple of that or just one jump kick. This gets me going. Why don't I just why don't I just do that? I mean, I suppose it uses up energy, but it's not like I'm using the energy doing anything else. You really shouldn't have done that. Ah! <laughs> My irresponsibility has come back to bite me. Also, like, I, th I feel like that's just what happens when you start to realize that you're immortal. Like... This gets me going. Like, if you've ever played uh, arcade games on free play... Batman. Batman. Good. Yeah, it's the gentleman ghost. Deeper and deeper into the abyss. They should sell tickets to a ride this enjoyable. Journey down into the depths of the underworld. On your left, the remains of the once great Batman. On your right, his rotting, winged friend. You're one to call us rotting, Craddock. Rotting? You should see his face. It's like he fell asleep in the microwave. Ha! I appreciate the invisibility, then. Thanks for sparing us, Ghost. That was uncalled for, Batman. Ah! He has revealed himself. This gets me going. Oh, let's uh, do a supercharged attack. Just take them all out. See? That's why crime doesn't pay. All right, Batman. You're needed. Ah! I'm being grabbed by the ghoulies. Which is... Another game I've never actually played through. Not that I have that much interest in that one. Just maybe a very, very, very slight amount. At best. But it is on rare replay, so it's not exactly a hard game to, uh... This gentleman ghost of yours reminds to, to me of function. another we had back in my day. Oh, really? Did you ever hear of him? I think so. He had the craziest collection of eyepieces you could ever imagine. One that shot lasers, one that blinded you. Of course, once you knocked off his eyepiece, he was just another crazy fellow with too much time on his hands. They usually are. Yeah. Um... Batman, you're needed. You can blow this up. Batman, Batman. It's too bad I can't just give him orders, can I? Let's, no. No. Ah, that's not the, that's the button to summon. So, uh, my bad on that. I did not mean to call Aquaman. I was just hitting random buttons. Again, is washed away. Let's see, the number two does nothing. That is my own item. Oh, well. Oh, finally. He plants the bomb and blows this up. What did that do? Oh. Okay, so that's one, two. There's probably one more lock that I have to hit. 
Ah. There we go. Now this is crime fighting. No, this is pod racing. Pretty effective with the electricity. I should probably be using these abilities much more often than I am. Instead of the not at all. If we had any deeper, the heat and Leroy is getting larger. Good for the old Bonus muscles. points if you know what that's in. from. Ah, if I do, would you throw me a towel, kid? Keep up the pace, Hawkman. If I know what Gentleman Ghost is planning, we're in for one serious fight. I've got to come clean, kid. This whole chase, it's got me beat. Too much more of this and I'll be as dead as that creep we're chasing. But you said you were fine, in the prime of your life. Of course I did. I've got one of my biggest fans here fighting alongside me. I couldn't disappoint you, son. I didn't want you to see how the years have slowed me down. When I said you were my hero, Hawkman, I didn't just mean physically. <laughs> you were just talking about courage, determination, and believing in myself. Anyone can beat up a criminal, but it takes a real hero to track them down and never give up. That's what you taught me, and it's what guides me to this day. Thanks, kid. I think I just got my second win. And I think that's that's also one of those odd things that shows up when um you have a. Uh, you have story beats mixed in with gameplay. Is like, how well does the story beat function um, emotionally? Yeah, let's, let's just say emotionally with what's going on on screen. Like, I suppose like having th this more, uh, like, Hawkman's understanding that Batman, like, he, he doesn't need to have the, uh, he doesn't need to do the big hero thing anymore to still inspire Batman. It's his attitude Cheerio, that counts. Guys. Is a meaningful speech. But if it always Looks has like to occur during end. gameplay... You know where we're headed? I've got a pretty good idea. It's not the first time that Craddock and I have been down here. So it's personal, then? For him it is. In case we don't make it out of this alive, Hawkman. It's been an honor fighting alongside you. The honor's all mine, kid. Like, you have these conversations while doing platforming, while avoiding steam. And that's something that I've noticed recently playing, um... Like, I, I can name a really bad example of a game that does this. Like, uh, not a bad example, I guess. A, a, an example of a game that does this poorly. And that game is Back for Blood. Um, a friend of mine and I have been playing it uh, of late, and it's not terrible. Done. It could be a lot better, but it's not terrible. Um, but any time a character starts monologuing or trying to have a conversation, and it just seems the worst. Where you were dragging us. Just like old times, eh, Dark Knight? Like, it doesn't fit what's going on. Like, why are they even having that conversation? What? Hold on. You are not welcome here. Ah, but when you see the gift I brought you, you may change your tune. Gift? I present to you, O Great Astaroth. In his centurial appearance, that loathsome, manipulative, do-gooding creature of the night known as the Batman. Batman? Oh yes, Bruce you know his name. He who made a fool of you, he who cost me my life. I deliver him to you, Astaroth, for the most meager of things. What are your terms? I desire but one thing. That which Batman took from me a hundred years ago. Give me back my life, Demon Astaroth, and the Batman is yours. Shouldn't I ever say in this? It is done. I accept your offer, Craddock. I will burn the bat creature to ashes, and when he is gone, you shall have your life restored. Excuse me? 
Fellow with the horns? Who is this impudent bird? I offer him as well, my dark lord. Do with him as you like. It seems to me that this is hardly a fair fight. Seeing how you've got a good 50 feet on us? How about fighting someone your own size? <laughs> oh! Well, that didn't work. I will enjoy this. It has been centuries since I've had a good fight. At the very least, I don't have to be punching him in the knees. Ah, uh, I went right into that. Ah! Bathe in my flames. I will not. Instead, I will electrocute you. Actually, he's taking plenty of damage. And I do appreciate the fact that I can just, uh... Stand still so that I may annihilate you! Jump out of, a. Uh, Soon you will be nothing but ash in the air. Okay, so I can't really hit him when he's doing the hovering thing, but at the very least I could avoid being damaged. Um, hmm. Am I supposed to be doing something? Feel my embers. Stand still so that I may annihilate you. Uh. There we go. You are not welcome in this realm. Ah. Uh, at least he got me once. My breath burns hot. Taste my fire. I will consume you. Stand still so that I may annihilate you. No, I will not stand still. In fact, I will just punch you now. Because I know you just go I back up and repeat your previous process. Feel my embers. I will consume you. Taste my fire. Okay, can I electrocrify fast enough? Excellent. You are not welcome in this room. Yeah, I don't know if I actually am going to be getting extra damage out of that or whether he takes like a set amount of damage uh, before going back up. I will burn this realm to yeah, I think he just takes a set amount of damage. Stand still so that I may annihilate you. Feel my embers. I will consume you. you are not okay, well there's like one way. or two more of these, uh... I will consume you. Feel my embers. Stand still so that I may annihilate you. No. I will consume you. There we go. Eaten by mere mortals. Craddock, our deal is broken. You will never have your life back. Never! You've ruined everything, Batman. First you cost me my life, and now you've ruined my death. I hope I can take some small pleasure in burying you two alive. Oh, does that mean we've got a little bit of a race on our hands to get out of here? Red Tornado, who the hell are you? Please select your character.
All right, let, 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 let's uh, finish off this lap as Hawkman and with the red tornado on our side. Whoever that is. thing you want is to get buried under your emotions literally in this case this entire chase has been nothing but a waste of time we're trying yeah, to dangerous kind of and making the world a better place batman that's heroic and acting heroic is never a waste of time are you okay kid you seem to be taking the situation a little personal gentleman ghost is a menace he needs to be behind bars and the metal bars of course that's the only thing they can hold him <laughs> no question criminal we capture helps make the streets safe. Is there something about this particular one that's got you riled? I didn't get credit killed even though he blames me for his death, but I know what it's like to lose a life you hold dear. I'm worried that because I understand him in that way, it makes me weaker. No, son. It makes you even stronger. Come on. Let's get out of here before this place buries us. That's quite the conversation to be having while punching people. But we'll take it. It's either that or a cutscene, and I suppose I'll take that over a cutscene. Ah. Ah. Watch the ribs, son. Ah. Oh. Batman! Also, what caused all those bombs to go off? Anyway, Batman, your work is needed here. Come on. Batman? Batman. No. Well, uh, it was an attempt. Maybe I shouldn't be playing as the character who, uh, who doesn't have the movement options required for that specific level. Because unfortunately, if you're playing single player, there isn't really a means to just have the act, uh, like an activate AI button. Would have been very useful. Good afternoon, Batman. I am initiating my attack sequence. Please stand by. I'm guessing this is a robot character. Attack sequence completed. Goodbye. <laughs> I have completed the punching process. Justice has been served. Justice.exe has been completed. I, I can keep up with you, kid. I got my wings. You go ahead. I'll catch up. Oh, Not thank you, Batman. A hero never leaves his partner behind. You taught me that, Hawkman. Hey, darn right I did. I suppose he opened one out of the two uh, gates, which is not bad. All right. Oh, there's the goon with a Tommy gun for some reason. Like, the way this game reuses enemy types. Like, you can clearly see there's a little bit of budget constraint. Like, I did mention that the game released at about 40 bucks. It's classic because it works. And with the way this game reuses uh, enemy sprites, despite the fact that all of these stories technically have nothing to do with each other, does show that there were budget limitations. And that's the thing, there, you have to be smart in regards to budget limitations. And if some, being smart with budget limitations means you have a random goon with a machine gun in a collapsing old London as your 
escaping from the wrath of the gentleman ghost, then I suppose that's what it is. Ah, steam. Ghouls. Ah, and a mine cart. Not a Donkey Kong Country oh cart, boy. but a cinematic cart. Another one of these things. It may help us get out of here more quickly. Yeah, if we don't crash into a subway train first. I like how the, the models like barely function in that space. Actually, let's summon, uh... Good afternoon, Batman. Whatever the name of this hero's hero is, because I've already forgotten. It has already been so long. Goodbye. There we go. Excellent. Keep up. We're almost out of here. Watch those platforms, kid. They don't look too stable. Right. Uh, they lasted long enough, as long as they were needed. Oh. Not exactly that dangerous, but I suppose uh, it provided the effect. The illusion of danger. This spice things up a bit. I hope someone up there ordered bat and hawk soup. The whole room's filling with lava. Then we better move fast. Keep jumping, kid. Stay above the flow. I can see the streetlights above us. We're almost out of here. They're gonna be cleaning. Okay. I barely had time to move. Or at the very least, it, my perception of when I was able to move. I hope someone up there ordered bat and hawk. Let, let's just hold the, the analog stick over. Then we better move fast. Keep jumping, kid. Stay above the flow. I can see the street lights above us. We're almost out of here. They're gonna be cleaning this mess up for decades. With any luck, they'll get gentlemen ghosts to do it on a work release program. <laughs> That's a good one. Looks like old Hawkman still got it. Ready for seconds, you punks? All right. I think I'm gonna stop here for this video. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night. Welcome to the Gadgets Rack, Batman. Please make a selection to purchase or upgrade a particular gadget.